Hey, what do you mean this is a members only casino? I want to come in. Ah, uh, don't make me do this, man. <laughs> you mad? What is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Fantastic Card Magic Mod. Which is not to be confused with magic cards, because although these are magic cards, they're not actually magic cards, but they are magic. Yeah. So anyway, right, we've got this really cool mod and basically what it does is it revolves around the whole playing card idea. So we actually have five different cards. We have all four suits and we also have a joker. And what these do is each suit has a specialist ability. Now, because this mod has kind of like a gambling feel to, oh, actually we're, we're outside a casino. Look at this, Monte Carlo Casino. I didn't build this. Uh, if you want to check this out, it's really, really cool. It, the link will be in the download description it's a bit thing at the bottom of the video, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this has like a gambling element to it. So with each of these cards, you kind of have two different stages as to what they do and what percentage chance they have of doing them. Right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to craft yourself some default playing cards. Now, I'll just go through the recipes in a second, but just to show you how the normal playing cards, and then to actually have some kind of magical property, you need to make them loaded playing cards, and then in order to make them, like, much, much better, then you can also craft them into Hoyle's playing cards. Now, the way this works, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you have um, two different recipes for if you want a red or if you want a black card. So, for example here, if we're crafting a heart card, you just need a piece of paper, and you need need two pieces of red rose dye. Now obviously we have another red card as well which is the diamond so if you want to make a diamond instead of a heart what you do is you just move these two red dyes and you put them on top and on the bottom of the piece of paper and then that will make the diamond. Exactly the same with the uh, the black cards so for example here for a spade uh, you could just do two ink sacks on the top and the bottom and the paper in the middle. If you want to make a club then you just put them to the left and the right. Now each time you do this it gives you five cards. Right now remember what I talked about like loading the card you need to load it in order to make it sort of work. So with the five cards that you craft that way, you just load them in like that, and then for every recipe, you just add an additional piece of bone meal, and then that will make the card ready to go. Now with these loaded playing cards, the loaded ones have a 60-40 good to bad ratio. So 60% of the time it'll do a positive effect, and then an 40% of the time it will backfire on you. If you want to increase that to a 90-10, then you use the Hoyle's playing card method where you just replace the piece of bone mill for the ender pearl. Right, okay, so we actually have our casino here, and we're going to grab ourselves, um, yeah, you know what, I'm actually going to use the normal playing cards, because I, I kind of want to show you the backfires as well. So they look pretty cool in the hand, and uh, yeah, we, we, have, <laughs> we have our gamblers, who are just Jay chilling and doing some serious money spending. What's up, boys? Hmm? Are you up or down? Mm, no comment. Okay, so right, let's check a look. Let's check a look. Let's take a look at these effects and see what they do. So I think we're going to start here with the diamond card. Now, the diamond card is basically a fire... Uh, it's kind of like a firing explosive card. Now we're actually going to have to grab a few more of these. There we go. Right, so this one will fire explosives. Now if we actually just pick on some uh, some gamblers here, let's have a look. Oh god! Really? Straight away? So, oh, again? These? There we go. <laughs> see, as you can see, it will fire explosives. Now two of the times there, which was a 40% chance, the explosion actually backfires on you. Now I think because I was moving, it didn't actually affect me. Oh god. However, it does actually backfire on you, and it can cause some serious damage if you're not too careful. Um, see, so yeah, this is a, like an explosive thing. This works really, really great with mobs. It's actually pretty powerful, uh, I've got to say, and it really does do a lot of damage to enemies and stuff. I have no idea why it isn't har harming me. It was harming me before. Um, in theory... Oh, God. I don't know. Let's... let's oh, no. Go on, trade with you. There we go. <laughs> see, as you can see, you can blow some villages up, so it's pretty damn cool. Right, the second one is the heart card. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. It can only really do one thing. So, the positive effect of this, it's a 60% chance with the loaded one that it will give you four hearts of healing. However, the negative side of it is it will actually, if you are unlucky, let's see if we can go through, there we go, it will actually give you a poison effect. So, I think it's like a 10 second poison or something. This card is absolutely great if you need it. It kind of replaces food. Uh, if you, if you want to do that, it gives you some extra bits and pieces. But, of course, it is quite dangerous. Oh, I know why I wasn't dying, because I was on peaceful. Ow, you silly sausage. Okay, so let me just try one of those explosives again. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, man, he's good. Yes! 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 
Oh, my luck. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Ow, I'm on a losing streak. So there you go. It actually does like four to five hearts of damage if it backfires. So it's pretty damn powerful. Right, yeah, and obviously with that... Oh, the healing card. If you like to gamble, then yeah, I got poisoned. So that kind of sucks. Right, the next card we're going to take a look at is the club card. Now, this is a really awesome one if you're playing with people on a server. Because this is actually kind of like a trolling card. Where basically you have a chance of firing mobs at other people. Which obviously will aggro as soon as they see them. However, you can also... The backfire is that it will spawn them right next to you. So, uh, let's see which one we don't like. We don't like you. Hooah! There we go. So, oh god, they're coming for me. What the hell? Oh, the villagers run away. So as you can see, it'll actually like fire mobs off into the distance. Now, I think it's um, zombies. Oh god. Zombies and spiders. I don't actually have a sword. Hang on, where are my explosive cards? I haven't got any. Oh god. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's diamonds. Give me some diamond cards. Yeah. No, fire. No, run away. Oh god. Oh, god. What am I doing? Oh god, run away. We cool? We cool? We cool? All right, okay, so we're, we're cool, we're cool. We're through, we're through. Happy days, happy days. Right, so as you can see there, it will actually fire mobs out at you. Now, alternatively, what will happen is they will actually spawn right next to you, which obviously isn't great because um, they will come and kill you. So, it's, it's, yes. Let me get rid of these guys quickly. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. So let's try a couple more of those, see what we can do. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, that card backfired right then, and it spawned right next to me, which is really, really useless. Man, gold swords are rubbish. All right, okay, so that's pretty cool. It's a great way to kind of troll your friends if you want to start spawning some, some mad mobs behind them. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And then the final one, no, the second to last one, is the spade card. So what this does is it's actually kind of, in my opinion, it's one of the best ones because it actually kind of works as a potion buff. So if we uh, grab ourselves some more um, spade cards here. Right, so when we use it, we actually have the positive effect. Now, that's actually kicked in straight away. And what we gain is we gain about 17, 18 seconds of night vision, speed, and invisibility. So it's kind of like a temporary triple potion effect, which can be really useful, especially with the speed and the invisibility, and, of course, the night vision. However, the negative effect is this. So if you kind of want to use it, then it might give you a slowness and a blindness. So if you're trying to escape some mobs or whatever and you click this, it might kind of suck because it's going to backfire and you're probably going down. Um, but yeah, okay, so the final one is the Joker. The Joker. Why so serious? Right, okay, so um, right, the Joker is, is quite an original one, actually, because what this does is it kind of works a little bit like an Ender Pearl, but what it does is it allows you to swap places with different entities. So, for example, if I want to swap place with this villager in white here, I fire it at the villager, and then the villager was where I was, and then I was where the villager was. So this is pretty cool, I think, um, especially, oh god, especially for sort of getting rid of, um, getting rid of, like, not getting rid of, but sort of moving from, from area to area. You can lock on certain people and you can sort of transport to them. So let's go to the uh, purple villager. Boom, there we go. And it actually replaces it with me. Now, the backfire for this is kind of strange because I don't know if I'll be able to do it in here. But, oh god, yeah. What will, <laughs> what will happen is that if it backfires, it will overshoot it completely. And it will actually take you really, really far away. So you've got to be a little bit careful with that. And, uh, you know, it's really useful because you will swap places with things. However, let's smash our way in. Sometimes it will backfire and it will send you way past the target. So yeah, that is it for this mod. It's a nice, short, and simple one, um, but I do hope you enjoyed it. A really great mod to have on, on multiplayer and stuff, uh, but it's also a lot of fun in single player, especially with the potion buffs and the explosions and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool to see some playing cards in Minecraft. It's not something that you really see that often. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video and if you like this amazing casino filled with gamblers, um, then it would be amazing if you wanted to leave a like on this video. If we could get over a thousand, I'd be incredibly grateful. So thank you so much for all your support. It's very, very awesome. Uh, but yeah, until next time, thank you once again for watching. Oh, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it. We do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once for watching. Let me try that one again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. It has been a pleasure as always. Thanks. And see ya.